from the last time I was telling you about how much I really liked the ID card system that they have here in Chile. Everyone's got their own personal ID number. I actually really like that. I lost my ID card. <laughs> Here's the irony though. I have been told repeatedly, be careful while you're here in Chile, always keep your bag at the front, be careful for people robbing things or pickpocketing you, you might get your things stolen, always be careful. I've been told endlessly. And in the end, it wasn't robbed, I just lost it. I was in the taxi coming back, I paid the taxi driver, that was the last time I saw my wallet, it was right outside the apartment. And uh, we went back, we had a look downstairs, we looked all over the apartment, but the wallet's gone, the ID card's gone, credit card's gone, about 80 Australian dollars in cash is gone, my Medicare card, both my Opal cards. Uh, a lot of uh, things that would be convenient to have. The good news is I still have both my passports. I still have about two and a half to three thousand dollars in cash that I didn't lose. I've still got my Commonwealth Bank credit card. I've still got my two travel cards. I still have my mobile phone. I still have my iPad and I still have my backup mobile phone and an iPad. So it could be worse, it could be a lot worse. Denise was nice enough to get online and suspend my ID card. Visited the police as well to make sure that my loss was registered with them, um, just in case I need it for insurance purposes. A few days later I went into the uh, registry office and formally suspended it, requested a new one. That new one will be arriving on Friday. So I've just gone a week having to take my passport around. To cancel my credit card, I had to call a phone number. I don't have a mobile SIM card yet and I need my ID card to get one. And so it was a bit of a catch 22. Um, I didn't want to wait, so I used my Skype credit and I was put on hold for about 10 minutes and then the call canceled out. Then I called again on hold for another 15 minutes got through, talked for a little while, and then I ran out of credit. $13 worth of credit just, just gone. I didn't expect to have to wait 20, 25 minutes on hold, but uh, my family was able to call up from Australia and my credit card had been cancelled. A new one is being sent. It's being sent here, which is really convenient, so I'll have my foreign currency credit card pretty soon in the next uh, five to 10 business days. Uh, this was just before New Year's Eve, so for New Year's, here's how it works in, in Chile, apparently. Finishing up packing some food for a New Year's Eve party that we are going to. We're actually going to two New Year's Eve parties, one before midnight with Denise's family and one after midnight with Denise's friends. Now, the difference between uh, a Chilean New Year's Eve party and a Australian one is that over here, it generally tends to start close to midnight. In Australia, a lot of the time, they tend to wrap up soon after midnight. You see the fireworks, you, you know, hug and kiss and, and go home. And uh, in, in that light, it's currently 11 o'clock and we still haven't left the house yet. Denise is actually taking a shower right now. So we should get to the first party before midnight, fingers crossed, but not very much before midnight. But we didn't get back home till about 7 a.m., 8 a.m. It was... Um, daylight by then. We didn't get started until about 20 to midnight the night before and we had dinner just after midnight. So that was with Denise's family and at about 2am we went to um, Denise's friend's place and, and hung out with some of her architecture friends. And the last couple of days really we've just been eating a lot of ice cream and watching a lot of Netflix. Uh, the show Sense8 it came out about two years ago. Really good, highly recommend it. Um, we've gone through the whole of the first season and we've got to wait till May for the second season which is just before we go to Australia for a couple of weeks and, and to go to Bali for my brother's wedding. 